Welcome to the tutorial series Build Your Own Autonomous Drone. We have done a series of tutorials on the software side such as computer vision algorithms and gazebo simulations. This is the first hardware-related episode which will guide you through implementation of the GAS framework on a quadcopter. Make sure you check our website and previous tutorials at the website below and give us a star on GitHub if you find this helpful. First, let's go through the tools. So we have screwdrivers. We have the frame of the quadcopter, the top and the front piece. Then we have the arms, and then we have the centerpiece. ESC, flight controller, GPS, aluminum screws, legs, an ammeter, and the telemetry module. We'll start off with the centerpiece and the arms of the quadcopter. Once we finish this, we'll move on to the electrical parts, such as the ESC, the flight control unit, and the GPS unit. Now we have to assemble the bottom centerpiece, front pieces, and the arms. Now you should have the frame looking like this. The aluminum screws are also screwed in before moving on to the ESC. Now let's assemble the motors and the amp meter. Be mindful of the motor directions. They are either clockwise or counterclockwise. The direction has to be aligned with the direction of the flight controller. Now we have attached the motors and the ammeter on the frame. Then we want to assemble the backs of the quadcopter as well as the bottom piece that's holding the battery. When soldering, you want the solder to be as ample and round as possible. Be mindful to not leave any exposed wire. You may want to check out some soldering tips online if this is your first time. Oh. Now we have attached the legs and the bottom piece for the battery. After the legs and bottom piece, we have assembled the top pieces for the arms. Now we want to assemble the top piece for the center, but we want to do it with the aluminum screws in place, otherwise you won't be able to reach it from the bottom. Now we have connected the ESC signal wire to the flight controller connectors. Then we put the flight controller connector through the hole in the top piece, along with the power supply cable of the ammeter. This way we have a clean flight controller without any cables in the way. Now we need to find a place to attach the telemetry module and the safety switch module. I usually attach them here. It's convenient for me to reach the safety switch and it's easier for the antenna to receive signals from the ground station. Now we have assembled the top piece and we have connected the main PWM, which includes the ammeter and the ESC signal wire. Let's connect the telemetry module and the safety switch. Okay, the telemetry module and the safety switch are both connected. Now we need to put on the final piece of frame and GPS unit. There we go, we have assembled a quadcopter.